Okay everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is actually Friday. And if you guys didn't know, this fall we've been doing a harvest vlog. And if you want to, you can go back and check out all the other videos and up to this point. The last harvest video that I put out was Harvest Day 24, and today is Harvest Day 26. Some things have obviously happened since then, and I gotta get you caught up. So last Sunday, which would have been Harvest Day 25 technically, I guess, my dad and I moved around and did a little bit of patchwork harvesting the soybeans that we had to leave in the fields uh, because the moisture was too high on them the first go around and picking soybeans. We got that done, but most of the day I spent in the truck in line at local co-ops trying to dump the soybeans off because we're running out of room in the grain bin. And then that Sunday night it snowed and that put harvest on hold. So the next morning I went to town because it was Veterans Day with a couple of uh, local vets and had breakfast with them. I am not a veteran, but I just went and had breakfast with them. And then later that day, my dad and I went and worked on some electrical issues at one of the rental houses. And that pretty much summed up Monday. And then Tuesday, there was still snow on the ground where we couldn't harvest. And it was so bitter cold in the morning that we really pretty much took the Monday morning or Tuesday morning off. And then that afternoon, we took that 13 inch auger that was broke into John Deere. And then Wednesday, I had a meeting with my banker to try and get some of my end of the year financial things done and get them kind of put together so that way after harvest, it can be a quick snap and get it done. So then yesterday, which was Thursday, my GoPro batteries were dead. I thought they were all charged up, but they were all dead. So I had no real chance to do any filming yesterday. We started at about noon and we ended up taking out 48 acres-ish of soybeans of the ground that I no-tilled into the CRP. And now Bandit and I are headed up the road here in the combine this morning to about a 70 acre field that we can harvest, which is actually in three different patches. Dad and Andrew should be behind me, not too far with the header. We'll be able to hook that up here this morning and get the picking or cutting or harvesting or whatever people want to call cutting soybeans. So the hope is by the end of the day today we can have this farm done and be set up to move to the next farm. We're starting to be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel here uh, to wrap up harvest 2019. We've got about 80 acres of corn left to do and uh, probably somewhere around a shy 350 acres of soybeans. We can get it done. As long as Mother Nature's kind to us, the old deer doesn't break down and no other problems come about. So that's enough talking. Hopefully you guys are caught up on where we're at here today. We're getting pretty close to the field that we're gonna be pulling into. Let's get some work done. you're wondering how close we farmed to Lake Rathbun, right there's your answer. In terms of like size, they're smaller than the rest of the beans we've been running this year. They're either dry or frozen, one of the two. Well, we're full and Andrew hasn't showed up yet with the grain cart, so now is a good time as any to get out and look at how things are doing. Here behind the head, I can watch that as I'm cutting. I really don't see any soybeans behind the head. That's the beautiful thing about these Macdon. They just do a fantastic job. So we get out here behind the combine. There's obviously still snow on the ground. I'd say we're doing pretty good there. I can hear Andrew coming. I can offload onto him. So we can get back to picking.
collected a bunch of mud down there. I'm going to go get it off of it. Well, there we go. First field on this farm's done. Moving to the next one. The next field's right up there. We got this slough in between us, which happens to be also part of the lake. If it was really frozen, you might be tempted to be driving across that, but we're not burying a combine today. What'd you find? Funny, I don't remember planting any rocks in this field, but we sure grew one. It's getting too nasty down there. It's not like I'm gonna get stuck, but it's, I can't even like steer, it's slippery. And I can't keep this thing out of the mud, so then all I do is I start pushing the soybeans over. Oh, we decided to move out of that field. There's still probably eight acres or so left down there. It's just the fact that it's so sloppy and muddy and nasty that I'm gonna run into issues. We're either gonna tear something up or get stuck any of the things that we want to do here today. We're now moving up the road here a little bit. Uh, there's an eight acre patch up here uh, 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 that we're going to get after we get done with this. I'm not sure what we're going to do. Most likely we'll probably move out of here tonight and maybe start in on another field. Here we go again. Sorry I left you guys here in the combine when we went and jockeyed some trucks around. Uh, we moved over actually into some of my soybeans. It looks like I have the capacity to pick about 2,000 bushels here tonight. Unless the soybeans get tough on me or the moisture comes up. Uh, their moisture is not really going to be an issue. I don't think it's just going to be the toughness of the soybeans. But then again I might also stop here after this truck load. That way it gives me uh, some time to pick in the morning while probably Dad and Andrew are messing around with some other trucks. A little bit of a game plan change here. Andrew and Dad have called it a day. Um, I'm looking like I've got another cart that I can pick. I guess I can pick a cart full. The beans haven't made it be quit yet. It's like 9.30 or so. So we're just going to hang back and uh, jam out and get some beans out. Come on, bud. 
Let's go. Well, it's getting chilly out now. Temperature's dropping on us here. That's going to end it for the day, guys. It's uh, 1030. Probably not going to edit this video tonight. You guys will probably see it a couple of days late. But we'll get back at it. We'll be making another one tomorrow. So thank you again for hanging out with us today. And we'll see you tomorrow.